Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to go over some box shadows and kind of moving your buttons around, making your app just look better. Uh, there's a few things we can do. Uh, you can go in here and just add an icon and add a rectangle behind a part and then add a shadow. But the new thing to do is actually to use the HTML text. So with the HTML text, we can actually write HTML and CSS to kind of make our app look much neater. So once you insert an HTML text, you can come up into the line and start your div. So a div, so this is a HTML with a little bit of CSS. So with Power Apps, you have to keep everything in quotation marks. On your div statement, if you want to skip to the next line, you just hold down shift and press enter. And that gets you down to the next line. I kind of like to do that just to keep everything organized. I'm just going to write a, a padding of uh, maybe about 75. Uh, it's probably pretty big. Most people probably don't want a padding of 75, but this is going to be actually the height of our HTML box that we're creating. I'm going to give a font size of about 25. And then next what we want to do is our box shadow. This is going to give us a shadow of our toolbar at the top. And so the first point is our height and width. And then the next one is our blur. So this is how much it blurs. And then this is the spread. And then finally I'm giving it a color of 999, which is a gray. So our shadow is going to be gray. In the background, uh, I'll give it a, uh, how about a light blue. I'm going to do a single in the quotation mark. And then after that, I want my text, whatever it may be, to be in the center. And then finally, we need to close our div. So as you can see, maybe this is a little bit too big. Let's lower the padding down to about 55. It's still pretty big, but I just want to do it for demonstration purposes. So in our HTML text, you'll notice that there's a little bit of white space here and a little bit of white space there. So in the position, I'm actually going to write negative 10, negative 10, and increase the width 10, no, 20 actually. So now when we view our app, you'll notice that we have a nice title bar here with a shadow. Our buttons are now hidden, but we can go to our buttons, each one of them, and we can reorder and we can send it to the front. So each one of my buttons I'm going to reorder, bring it to the front. So now we have our buttons. View, add chart, and then clear, and then finally our timer. So now when we view the app, we have a nice title bar with a box shadow. Well, maybe we don't want our buttons to be round. If you notice, all buttons by default are actually round. If we wanted to make square buttons, we would just go into the properties of the button, find the border radius and make that equal to zero. So now we have square buttons. And pretty much the same thing if we wanted a per perfectly circle. Um, I believe so the size is 160 by 40. We want to change the size to 160 by 160. Um, maybe much smaller. How about uh, 70 by 70. And I can't type. There we go and then the border radius of 70. So now we have a circular button and this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm just showing you options that you can have. So now when we go into our app we have a nice title bar with one square button, a circular button, and then our normal default buttons. And the timer is already hidden so that's perfect.
Now if you really wanted to have fun with your app, one little thing I just wanted to add was maybe you want multiple shadows so you can really go in here and edit the CSS. So if we came into our HTML box shadow, and I had it saved in a notepad just because it was simpler for me to copy paste. There's actually three shadows here, a blue, red, and green. If we paste that right in, you'll notice we actually have three layers of shadows here. I don't know, maybe that would match someone's uh, logo or the theme of someone's business. But you can see that now you have three layers of shadows. You can easily do that with a box shadow and an HTML text web part. So the next thing I wanted to show you was how to actually add another shadow. Um, this one is not as clean as the HTML box shadow, but you can come into the icons and add a rectangle. So I have a rectangle, right? And I'm going to match it up with my gallery. The X, we're going to make it just a little bit bigger, and the Y, a little bit bigger. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of that and send it to the back. Now, if you notice, my whole gallery is gray, and we don't want that either. So we're going to change the background of my gallery to this. How about just that little bit of gray? And if you notice in here, there's actually a shadow, but it's not big enough. I want to make it bigger. So let's go to my rectangle. Let's create this 165. I just want to do it for demonstration purposes. 85. So now you can see we actually have a nice shadow behind our gallery. And then when we click view, the shadow should grow with it, but we'll fix that. Well, for some reason it didn't get my equation. There we go. So now when we hit view, the shadow grows with our gallery. It has a nice little indention makes your app look 3D. I really think uh, these few little bit of changes can make a app look from elementary to almost professional. I would recommend adding box shadows to whatever element that you use on your app. Uh, you could do the same thing with the charts, but that's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.